Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled SAP Document Management the Easy Way. This webinar will present an overview of SAP Document Management System, various ways to easily access all your documents, and quick ways to get up and running with SAP DMS across your enterprise. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Dave Cramp uh, from LeverX. How are you doing today? Hey, hey, I've got a great topic today for you, uh, SAP uh, Document Management the Easy Way. And we're going to go through uh, a piece of functionality that you know, it still uh, surprises me on how many people are not really taking advantage of, and that's document management in SAP. Uh, it's every, you, you, you own it by virtue of having your ECC instance in SAP. And we're going to go through it uh, and also discuss a topic about SAP Easy Document Management that you own via that same route. And you can kind of see some splatter screens I've got on here on this first page. So let's kind of keep going here. So we're going to talk today about Easy DMS and then also the document browser. And I'll get to talk about the document browser when we get there and show you how this is all related. Uh, so basically, very at a, at a high level, SAP's Easy DMS is a user interface that SAP has provided that works with mi the Microsoft Explorer window. So if you are or if you are working on a Microsoft operating system and you have your Microsoft Explorer window with you, my documents, my, you know, with my folders, my documents, and you put all your documents in the foldering mechanism that you put it in there, SAP has integrated document management into that window. And so where you have my, your, my documents, you will also now have SAP Easy Document Management as another foldering option. And so once you install, you know, this is a free of charge for Business Suite users. So you can just go to the SAP Service Marketplace and download it and then install it. Uh, languages are, are English and German. Um, and, you know, it says pricing on there. Well, if you have, you know, the professional, semi-professional user licenses, you have the capability of working with it. So here you can see in the, on the, in the blue screen the, the shortcut icon that will be built there, and below it you see a login screen. But let's kind of keep talking about it. Once you log on in the lower right corner, you, you, uh, you can click on the icon on the left, I should say, in the lower, and then in the lower right corner you get a logon page. So just like any other application in SAP, you are protected by the SAC, SAP security, so you log on via your user, and your password to the, the instance of the SAP system you're working on. Uh, you don't have to log on every time. You can save the password and log on automatically every time. If you look down on that lower right hand screen, save password, log on automatically next time. Once you cr do this, you can uh, move on and, and, and kind of skip this stuff. Just instantiate it on the left in the, in the blue with the hyperlink and you'll go into the main Microsoft Explorer window, which you see here. Let's take now a look at some of the information. So let's grab this assembly robot and say I want to look at the SAP properties. So here is that properties window we're looking at. And here you can see that there are three, uh, it's got three originals, they're all checked in. We've got the thumbnail showing. Uh, it's at a status of cre create. I can put this into a status of, you know, in design, re design review. So you can change these statuses. If I wanted to add a laboratory here, I can add a laboratory. You know, this is now product data modeling department. If I wanted to add a change number, etc., all the capability is there. If I want to view any of these, I can just select. I can select the JPEG. Go down here to the the, the glasses. Look at look at that uh, JPEG of it. Same thing if I wanted to look at any of these other ones. So here's this is a Pro E model. It's a .dot ASM. I, I don't have. Uh, Pro all hooked up that it's going to show up correctly here, so we're not going to take a look at that. But you get the idea on that. For object links, here you can see I've got it tied to a Material Master RX 5500. So you have the ability 
to work, work and add any of those uh, object links here. So here, there's a, this this one document has a very limited number of object links you can tie it to. That'll be set up by your document type. Okay. So um, next thing we go to technical details. Here's that document number, uh, document type, etc. And then here's where you can display and change it in in your SAP windows. So I can hit display in your PLM web UI. Click on that. And then here you can see that same window in the traditional SAP PLM web UI.